We all have that one annoying friend who is just always skinny. Hi guys, Dr. Bobby Stryker here with Flow Physique Factory and we've got another interesting video for you today talking about that really annoying skinny friend who's just always skinny no matter what they eat. They're like a bottomless pit, a black hole of calories and food and they never put on size. What is going on there? Well, let's go back in time, shall we? We're going to go way back, back to our ancestors, because a lot of how our body works is all kind of evolutionary. Our bodies have developed in an interesting way, mostly to kind of keep us alive, like survival mechanisms. If we look at our babies, even now, yeah, human babies, they have like unusual reflexes. Like, for example, there's this thing called a moral reflex. Like if you get a newborn baby and you just do like that a little bit, like you're going to put it down to the cart to sleep, they will often like get startled and the hands and legs come out. What's going on there? So that's a moral reflex. It's a survival reflex. Back in the day, if their baby fell out of the tree or something, the arms and legs would come out to stop it, you know, maybe grasp onto branches and things and stop it from falling to its doom. And another example is the rooting reflex. If you get a baby and you just stroke the cheek, they will kind of tilt their head as if they think there's something to feed on, you know, like maybe mama's nipple is there, teats is there for milk feeding time. So we've got these unusual mechanisms and reflexes that have developed over thousands and thousands of years. One of them is to store body fat because fat essentially is like backup energy, fuel, reserves. So if there's a famine and there's starvation, we have an energy reserve to tuck into to give us fuel when there's no food and stuff around. Unfortunately, fast forward to the present day when food is quite readily available and this kind of like survival mechanism is not really doing us any favors. So food is readily available and the same mechanism that would have kept us alive back in the day um, is now making us have issues because food is super readily available. So we eat foods and foods are often very rich, high in calories and the pounds kind of add on. So what's going on with this friend of ours who is always skinny? Well, it's going back to these survival genetics. Those people who tend to carry more weight, you are generally born with more fat cells and you have a higher genetic set point. What's that? Basically, that's the level of body fat that your genetics, your body makeup is trying to keep you at. So back in the day, during those survival times, that would have kept you alive. That would have kind of saved your life. You had more energy reserves. Whereas it's the guy with the six pack and the really toned lean abs, they'd be the first person to die because they don't have any of that you know, energy reserve. So there's this difference in our genetic makeup. Some people have this higher genetic set point. You tend to carry more weight. Some people have a lower genetic set point. So they naturally will be kind of leaning towards a metabolism which keeps them at a lower level of body fat. It doesn't mean that you can't defeat these genetics. You know, if you um, still go overboard, you, even this skinny friend of ours, they can still put on weight. You can't break the laws of thermodynamics. It's just you're more inclined to be at a lower end of the body fat spectrum. Now, there might be other factors at play too, like metabolism and maybe they have certain habits and tendencies that you're not aware of. Maybe they walk more, maybe they have more neat non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Maybe if you're carrying a bit more weight, you're more prone to just sitting around a little bit more. Maybe you're not as proactive, whereas maybe they're the ones standing up when they're on the phone or walking around a bit more or getting off the bus one stop early and doing other things throughout the day, perhaps sometimes even unknowingly, which allows them to kind of keep themselves at this lower level of body fat. So there's multiple factors at play here, but that genetic set point is a big one. Now, if you've got a genetic set point which keeps you at a higher level of body fat, does that mean you can't lose weight and you can't get the six pack and all of that? Harder does not mean impossible. Eventually, it's gonna still come down to the basics, calories in, calories out. If you're burning more calories, then you're consuming, you are still gonna to get to your target. But indeed, if your metabolism is low and your set point is higher, so your body wants to carry a bit more fat, it might be harder for you, but you can still do it. Now, I don't want you to take the wrong message here, because I do know that a lot of people, when they hear things like this, 
they just give up. They think, there's no point even trying. My genetics are terrible. Everything's against me. I can't do it. No, it might make it harder for you, but you can still do it. You can still do it. And, you know, through people like us and other people who are around you to help, you can get to your goals. You're just going to make slightly smarter choices. Go for smarter food choices, understand how your body works a bit better, which exercises to do. And when you put all of this together, you can still achieve your goal. So you can't give up, don't give up. That's what we're here to tell you. That's the final bottom line of this quick video. Yes, it might be harder for you to get into shape, but you can still do it. And it's not an excuse to just give up, okay? Everything that's worthwhile in life is gonna require some effort, okay? And you can do it. So that's it guys, I hope you found this quick video interesting, genetic set points and all of that. It doesn't mean you should give up, it just means you might need to work a little bit harder but you can still crush those goals. I hope you've liked this video, remember to like and subscribe, our video really helps us out a lot. Follow us on all of our social media platforms, take it easy, stay safe, we'll see you at your next appointment, don't be late.